Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com, and we just did a video last week for expander RPE design for hyperdiversion dolichocephalic long face kids. Now we're doing expander design for brachycephalic hypodiversion short face kids. Two different things. So in order to, I mean, I can tell just by looking at a patient if they're short face, long face, I mean, middle face, whatever. Um, you can also look at a SEF. Obviously, this is low angle. We call this low angle. If you took a measurement, it would be, it would be more um, closer to 90 degrees instead of being like 120 degrees. I mean, that would be crazy, right? The mandibular plane angle. But anyways, whenever you see someone with a short lower face, low plane angle, that's what we're talking about, you want a different type of expander design than you would for someone that has a longer face. So please refer to that other video first before you watch this one. Okay, so let's talk about short face kids. So nothing wrong with being short face. I was a short face kid, you know, maybe I should have had one of these appliances. The main thing that you want to keep in mind, I mean, the good thing about expanders in general is they are extrusive in nature. So you tend to have a little bit of bite opening. That isn't great if you're long face, but it's good if you have short face. So if it's really severe, if they have a really, you know, deep bite in the front and a really, really low angle, you might want to consider putting anterior bite um, thickness, make build an anterior bite plate into your fixed or removable expander design. And obviously that is something you do on the top, they're going to go ahead and stack acrylic. Remember, even if you're making an upper only, you always want to send the lower as the opposing so they know how to stack and where to put the acrylic. If there's more overjet, they're going to put it further back than if there's less overjet, right? So they have to kind of stack it where it is. They want to see exactly where the occlusion is so they know where to stack the acrylic and know how much to stack the acrylic for. Now different, you could also have it um, added through solder, well they can solder some extensions onto a fixed RPE, your regular traditional Hyrax or a mini Palex, they will solder arms onto it. I don't have a good picture of this here that I can show, but I do have other videos in my YouTube channel. If you go to my YouTube channel, Straight Smile Solutions, scroll down, go to the phase one playlist, we do have some content on that. But yes, definitely put an anterior bite plate on these cases, that helps to prop open the bite so that the back teeth aren't touching so that the curve of speed will naturally level while you are expanding and it really helps dramatically open up those deep bites. Get that out of the way. It's so much easier to do in the appliances than to just do it later in the braces or to do it with wires. I like to knock it out of the way in phase one or in my pre uh, braces therapy where you're going to fix the bite first and then move on to the braces. So very easy to do definitely should check it out. All right, thanks so much. And as always, check out our phase one course. It just launched on CE Zoom. If you want more information, it is on my website, easy to find, Street Smile Solutions. All right, take care, thanks.